Hey everybody, my name's Jeff Hood. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service office in Little Rock. Just wanted to talk to you about the potential tropical impacts from Cindy across portions of Arkansas. First, let's take a look at a visible satellite loop uh, from this afternoon and evening. Uh, that shows Cindy pretty well across portions of the northern Gulf of Mexico. You see the area of circulation uh, continuing to rotate out here with thunderstorms developing along the northern edge. You can see how far the storm is offshore from the Texas and Louisiana Gulf Coast. So you see the latest update from the National Hurricane Center as of 7 o'clock this evening. The storm is about 125 miles south of Lake Charles, Louisiana. It has maximum sustained winds of about 50 miles per hour, and our minimum central pressure is at 992 millibars. Movement has been pretty slow northwest at 8 miles per hour this evening. So you see here in the forecast track, we're going to see it make its way up the Texas-Louisiana uh, state line in the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. So by Thursday, tomorrow, early afternoon, we're going to see it making its way into uh, northwest Louisiana. By early Friday morning, we're going to start to see uh, weakening of the system. It's still a tropical storm as it, makes, as it makes its way inland, but by the time it reaches northern Louisiana and southern Arkansas, we'll be talking about tropical depression, Cindy. It's going to continue to make an easterly or northeasterly jog, and by Friday afternoon should be in portions of western Tennessee. The setup Friday afternoon as it's begun to make its way east, thanks in part to the cold front that's going to be making its way into the state from the plains, that's going to help direct Tropical Depression Cindy northeast of the area. But not all the rainfall is going to be gone from the state because the cold front's actually going to act as its own mechanism to allow precipitation to develop, and we're actually going to continue to see widespread rainfall across a good portion of the state Friday afternoon. So the main threats from Tropical Storm Cindy now, and by the time it reaches Arkansas Tropical Depression Cindy, will likely be heavy rain. Quite the contrast from northwest to southeast, with an inch or less of rain across northwestern portions of the state, but as much as four to six inches of rain could be possible across eastern and southeastern Arkansas. This is where we're gonna have a localized flash flooding threat and where we're just gonna see some of the most intense rainfall associated with the storm, because usually what we see is the heaviest rainfall to the east or just to the northeast of the track of the storm. So as the storm tracks across south central Arkansas and the eastern portions of the state, that focusing mechanism will be to the east of the track and that's where we're going to see most of the rainfall. If that forecast track settles one way or the other, this bullseye of heavier rain could shift with it as well. So keep that in mind. Severe weather threat will be the next thing we have to worry about other than heavy rainfall. Southeast Arkansas will be the main focus where we have a slight risk for severe weather on Thursday and we'll also have an isolated severe weather threat again on Friday. Main threats with tropical systems, damaging winds, and isolated tornadoes. So in summary, we're going to be looking at the heaviest rainfall threat across southeastern Arkansas. Most of it's going to be from tomorrow evening, Thursday evening through Friday, and damaging winds and isolated tornadoes possible with some severe weather across mainly southern and southeastern portions of the state. Lastly, just keep in touch with us, the National Weather Service in Little Rock. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, or on our webpage, weather.gov slash LZK.